that. So I'm working on a 2005 F350. Um, this here is a number five injector cup. It's clean right now. Nothing's leaking in here. But what I got going is uh, I had just got this truck 67 months ago. Uh, I knew it had a bad oil cooler. So I got a pretty good, pretty good deal on it. Um, also had a little bit of diesel going in the crankcase, so I figured a you know, injector O-ring, uh, maybe the injector itself. Then I got back from a trip, a camping trip, uh, pulling the camper and a trip, my Jeep on a trailer, about 19,000 pounds, and the whole trip, me and my wife complaining of uh, the whole truck smelling like diesel. Thought I had a leak somewhere. I get back, no diesel leak, no nothing, super strong smell. Then I realized my degas bottle was not red anymore. And kind of looks like that now. And it kind of all swole up. I could barely get the cap uh, back. I couldn't get the cap back on, actually. Uh, I put a screw in the cap here to seal it up for testing purposes. Uh, just to get it back on. But, uh, so I had a bunch of diesel, about two inches, sitting on the cooling top of the coolant uh, after doing some searching I the only thing it could be is an injector cup or a cracked head and evidently the cracked head on the passenger side it's a pretty normal deal so I pulled the injectors excuse the mess in the garage so this is the front there's a uh, this is number five right here look at the injector o-rings so these ones here Nice, soft, round, injectors are clean. Number five, O-ring is flat, hard. Injector's dirty. So, hoping it just might be a cup. So what I did is I rigged up my air compressor. I set the regulator real low over here. Put it on here. I did is I made a T with a Schrader valve. It's actually from a Fox uh, emulsion shock. Um, threads right in there. And then this uh, stant coolant pressure gauge. And I just had my tire fill. What I'm going to do here, hopefully without dropping anything, is you're going to be able to start to see where this coolant leak is. Now when the fuel is under pressure, it actually will, right there where that crack is, It'll uh, push into the cooling system, and mine happened pretty, pretty, pretty recently and quickly. So I was hoping it was just a cup, um, and then I also have some, you know, a solution of like palm olive and water to spray in there if I need to. So let's go ahead and pressurize, pressurize the gauge. You'll see it start to fill up. Okay, we're getting some pressure there. Now I got this regulator set so it'll hit about 14 PSI. So it'll slowly fill up but it'll get there. What I want to show, if I can do it here. This is starting to fill up with coolant. And there's a couple better videos available. But you can see it with the cab off. You know, you can get right on top of the cup. I've got this mirror. But uh, it's coming out above the cup. Now, I can't quite get in there 100%.
and I suspect it may also be a cup. But what I'm going to do is I know I know it's a cup, and uh, so I'm going to try to fix that crack with that bulletproof kit first, and then repressure test. And if that doesn't fix it, I'm going to yard the cup out, put a cup in, because I know 100% it's above the cup. It's coming out above the crack, or above where the cup sits. Um, so I'll give that a try. Uh, I haven't looked anymore. I haven't even looked at that back one, but the front two are clear. So I'm going to order that kit, and I'll further test both sides. Uh, I haven't even pulled these injectors yet. So I'll do that, and then uh, pressure test, and hopefully that's going to be it. And uh, be a quick, easy fix. Uh, I appreciate the time. Take care, guys.